guys, Amber here. I just wanted to discuss something about Ipsy Ultimate. Um, as if you watched my if you watched my October Ipsy Plus, that was supposed to be an ultimate. So when I realized it wasn't, because I had never gotten anything like one of the bigger boxes from Ipsy, I um, contacted them. So they were really, you know, um, they were really respondent to it and they were like, okay, we'll send you out one right away. So they, um, they did, they sent me something. Um, it took about a week and then I got just one of their boxes. It was really light and it looked like another Ipsy Plus just because it wasn't as big as the ones I had seen um, other people unbox. Um, and it was just one of those boxes with some foam and one product in it, which was this. The Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions, which I ha I already have. I bought this quite a while ago once, um, I think Sephora or Ulta, I don't know. But I already have this, so, and that was the only thing that was in my box. It was very weird. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, it's kind of strange that someone would pack that box. Maybe they were meaning to send it to somebody else. So I immediately took a picture of it and in the email thread I told them this is all I got. Which is kind of weird. Um, but they're like, oh, we're sorry about that. And they're going to put in another order. So that took them, they said um, to wait seven to five to seven business days for it to ship. I was like, oh great, I have to wait another week for it to actually ship, and then I have to wait for it to actually get here from shipping. So that was a little bit like, oh, whatever. It was really nice of them, of course, I'm not gonna be, you know, show my irritation to the actual people who are helping me because most of the time it's not their fault. I think it might be the people packing the products, or I don't know. So then, uh, hey, I got the package. Oh, sorry about the light. Um, and some of the things are correct, <laughs> and some of them aren't, but I'm just gonna leave it as this. They already had told me that they, they couldn't give me the lipstick that was supposed to be in my box because it was um, out of stock. So they just gave me a $5 refund. So technically I've only paid like um, $45 for this. And with this, I've gotten quite a bit of products. So they sent me the Ipsy Plus. Let me show you what I got in the Ipsy Plus, which I wasn't supposed to ever even get. Oof, there you go. So I got, I don't if you didn't watch it, because I don't think a lot of people did, but it's the Dr. Brandt, which I've been using in my shower and I really like. And by the way, I told them, I told them uh, that I had opened things and just in case they wanted me to send them back, but they told me to keep it. So they were really nice about that. Um, I have the Betty Boop blush palette, or not blush palette, eyeshadow palette, which I've used. Ooh. And I really like it. Um, this one's getting a little bit of hard pan, but I mean, whatever. Not like that. I have one of the um, cake fondant lipsticks that I've already tried out and didn't like, so I put it in a little spot to give away. So I don't have that with me. And then I have a real hair lipstick that's like a ready orange color that I'm not going to use. I'm going to give it away. And then I, I got the Jolie Spectra stick, which is like a highlighting stick, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to give this away as well. And then I've got the Lovecraft um, Beauty bronzer with the trio of bronzers, which I have been enjoying. I really do like this. Only thing I'm going to complain about is that it's kind of flimsy packaging. I'm not sure how much this costs, so I don't know. I don't know if they put the prices in on that, but anyway, so all together I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products. Oh, so quite a few already. I mean, I think in the, in the, um, Ultimate, you're supposed to get about 12. So, not quite there yet, obviously. 
So they did send it to me today. I did go through it already just because I was like, gonna make sure, oh, make sure everything was correct. And it came like jam packed in an Ipsy Plus box. I'm not sure if they ran out of the Ipsy Ultimate. Oh, things are falling out. So I did get another bag, which I could have you know, been fine with that one. So I, this is like my third bag, second one of these. Like whatever. <laughs> Um, this is one of the things I was supposed to get, which I'm happy I got. It's the, um, Pharmacy Green. Oh my gosh, the sun. The sun. Anyways, the Pharmacy Green, um, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I haven't opened it yet. thought I'd open it for you guys here. So I'm happy I got this. This is one of the things I was actually kind of excited about. And it comes with like a little spatula. Ooh! Oh, that's gone. <laughs> I have to get that. It fell under my bed. Uh, probably just use my fingers, honestly. Because, yeah, I'm savage like that. It's green. It's light scent. I think a light sweet scent. A flower. Like a sweet flower scent. I don't know. Um... I like it. It smells good. This is kind of a flimsy plastic. I would hope that it would be a little bit better, but it's okay. I'm happy to try it. I've never tried a... Wait, I think I've tried a bomb once. I like a little tiny sample of some brand I don't remember. <laughs> but I did, I did enjoy it, and hopefully this will be it. I think I've heard good things about pharmacy, so excited about that. Let's see what else was in. What was actually supposed to be in here. So then I got two sheet masks, which I know people were kind of disappointed about. I understand, because sheet masks aren't, you know, very high value. Um, I got one in natural, <coughs> excuse me, natural shea butter mask sheet. And this is for protecting. Just like that. I'm sure you guys all seen this, because a lot of people got these. And this one's in natural avocado and it's deep moisturizing. So cool, I do like sheet masks a lot, let's see. And then, this is another product I was supposed to get. It's Real Her. I haven't opened it yet, I'm deciding if I want to or not. Um, tell me what you guys think about these type of palettes. I think I got one in um, a BoxyCharm a long time ago that I really wasn't too impressed with, but I don't really know if it's the same one or not. So let me know what you guys think. But yeah, it's like saran wrap, so it'll be hard to show you. Sun. Let's see what. Oh, okay. This is another thing I was supposed to get. Um, this is the Le L E A U serum. Uh, yeah, from Bio Bio Race kind of cool I mean to me it doesn't it kind of looks like some random serum you'd get off Amazon but I don't know it just looks a little questionable to me um doesn't look like it's extremely full I don't know if you guys can tell could just because I was on his side that's probably it but I'm not too excited about this one I've got some serums going that I'm actually really enjoying so Oh well, um, and then I, this is what I was supposed to get too, it's an uh, Betty Boop, an Ipsy eyeliner, and uh, I'll probably keep this just because it didn't come with like any packaging or sealing, so I'd feel kind of weird uh, like giving it to somebody, so I don't know why I smelled it, <laughs> it smells like eyeliner, I mean it's pretty black, so we'll see if it actually um, stays or, you know, all that jazz. Let's see, what else? I think this is the last thing I was actually supposed to get. <laughs> These Farrah brushes. Um, I'm sure you've all seen them. There's three of them. Again, I don't know if I want to open them. Like, I could 
use them as a gift. I have a lot of face brushes and I've tried Fair before and they're not my favorite. They look like this. Oh, it's hard to see with the packaging, but. I mean, the handles look cool, but usually the brushes aren't the greatest quality. They're not very dense and I don't know. I'm actually happier that they are face brushes and eye brushes because I've tried the eye brushes many times. I think I've tried one face brush that I gave away. So I just prefer denser or denser brushes. So yeah. Okay, so now on to the whole things I wasn't supposed to get. So this, I think this is a deluxe size sample. Um, Jejuin Pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam. So it's like a cleanser, I think. I don't know. Whoa. Looks like that. So in my November Ipsy Ultimate, I got something from them, but it was a mask. So I think it was a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. But this just seems like such a tiny sample. Oh well, I'll use it. It's a cleanser, you know. And this, I have no idea what this is. was definitely not supposed to get it. It wasn't listed in my bag. It wasn't listed in my bag. <laughs> it is from Gold Faden MD. And it's, it's a solution, bright eyes, dark circle radiance, concentrate, soy peptide rice bran extract. Uh, what? <laughs> Let's see. Dr. Gold Faden's Advanced Brightening Eye Cream. Okay, it's an eye cream. Good. It must have, it's a must have for eyes. Okay, it's supposed to, I don't know. A lot of words, a lot of things to read about the product. Lots and lots of words. <laughs> I'm not gonna read it all. So it's an eye cream. I think I've gotten several eye creams recently, so this is kind of like lackluster. And it comes in this kind of a container, so it's a lot of eye cream. That will last me a long time if I decide to keep it, we'll see. It's definitely intriguing. I really like packaging when you open this, like leaves. So that's cool. Um, so far, it's a ton of skin care. Um, and then I got this ooh, lip fondant, and it's in the same shade they sent in the Ipsy Plus that they accidentally sent me that I didn't like. So I'm definitely not going to open it. It's in that shade legit. It's kind of like a purpley brown color. I do like the color, I just don't like the formula. It's kind of thick. I'm really, um, I'm really used to the thinner ones, and I prefer them. So I'll give this away. Hopefully, someone else will like it. Yeah. And then I got this. This wasn't supposed to be in my bag. It's a clay mask, a lemon verbena clay mask, and it's from Eye Bomb. supposed to purify your skin yeah let's see oh, it's got a little cap on it oh my gosh sorry for the sun <laughs> we won't open it we'll see if I'll use it or not again just because ton of skincare I'm a bit overwhelmed with skincare and the sun there it goes <laughs> And this one is kind of a weird one and kind of cool. It is from Girlactic and it's a three in one sparkle lip or sparkle balm and periwinkle. I've never heard of a sparkle balm. Maybe it's a sparkle lip balm, same thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like a frosty lavender color. I am kind of cool. 
I'm kind of cool. I am kind of excited that um, I got something from Girlactic because I don't think I've ever gotten anything from them. Looks like that. Um, yeah, that's actually really pretty. You can see. Oh. I think it's pretty. I'm excited about that. I'm not excited about sharpening this type of a pencil, so it's okay. And the last thing I got was um, a mineral body lotion. So this is definitely <laughs> this is definitely um, not a full size. Let's look how small it is. It's for your body. It's not gonna last you very long. It's from Avana, and it has active Dead Sea Minerals in it. I'm not excited about this at all. Like, I don't know. This doesn't seem like a full size to me either. It's an ounce, but maybe it is. I don't know. This is very unimpressive to me. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, I did like the November one better. I'm gonna still keep it for December just to see if they just continue to get better. Hopefully they don't like have any more snafus with their um, sending me the right product or the right bag. But yeah, it was pretty frustrating um, waiting for it to come. I mean, it's almost the end of November and I finally got my bag box whatever so yeah thank you all for watching tell me what you thought um did you guys get it did you guys like it i don't think a lot of people liked the october one but yeah don't forget to like subscribe thanks for watching bye